Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've had quite a few questions regarding the secondary navbar. Secondary navbar is the little sort of purpley pink one up here. And I'm going to try and answer three of them in this video. One of them was how to float the social icons over the right hand side. One was how to put the email in the middle and one was asking if you can add a second telephone number and yes you can do all of the, all of those and it's pretty easy so there I've added a second phone number got the email in the middle and we got the social icons to the right to do this today we've got to write a little bit of CSS code but don't let that put you off any code that I write I'll put below the video so let's get started first thing we need to do is to go to our theme customizer to get there go down to your dashboard to appearance and customize and that's going to bring you to this page well actually that's going to bring you to this page okay well, let's deal with the first thing first um, somebody's asking about adding a second telephone number yep simply go down to your header and navigation header elements this is where you put in your regular phone number right here and simply just type in whatever you want I can't remember what they wanted um, I think it was two different area codes or something put in your prefix here um, let's see Tennessee and put in the number I'm going to separate mine with a pipe and for those that don't know what a pipe is just above your enter key it's the sort of two dashed lines if you hit shift it's just above the backslash key there we are and we'll say New York and if I publish that now oh it's already done it up there there we go and you've got two little numbers in there okay so how easy was that that was the first little bit the next bits not quite so straightforward so the next part was the other question was how do we float the social icons to the right hand side for this we want to go to back to the root of our custom theme customizer here and go down to the bottom to the additional CSS now I'm using Google Chrome which has got the great inspector tools most browsers have this today but if yours doesn't Google Chrome is a free download okay so I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna inspect this notification area up here there it is as, as I roll over these things you can see it's gonna highlight what it is I'm rolling over down the bottom here and what I want here there's our info area well to make this work we've got to expand that if we want to put this over to this side you can see it's only about a third of the screen there so let's expand this first I'm going to click on it and I'm going to say with 100% now now when I hover over it you can see it's expanding to the full width there or the boxed width of the R area there which is plenty which is plenty we can over expand it if you need to but that's fine I'm leaving mine just like that but as with all code when you write it into an inspector down here once you refresh the page it's going to disappear so we need to make this permanent so if we look over here we've got a div with an ID of ET info I'm going to double left click on that copy it control C and in my additional CSS I'm going to paste it in here now it's an ID it said div ID all IDs need a hashtag in front of them so I'm going to put hashtag paste in the name Then I'm going to open and close some curly brackets give them a little space and I'm going to copy my bit of CSS that we wrote over here again control C control V to paste there we go so once we publish that that will be permanent okay next thing we want to make these go over to the right hand side here 
So let's right click and inspect this, the actual social icons themselves. Here we go. These are the individual ones. As a, again, as I'm rolling up, you can see which one it's highlighting up there. I want all of them. So it's this whole untitled list class, ET Social Icons. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say float right. Float colon right. As you can see, they've popped over to the right hand side there. Fantastic, just what we wanted. So again, we're going to copy this. This time it's not an ID, it's a class. I'm right, still going to double left click to highlight it. Control C to copy. All classes need to have a dot or a period in front of them. And then we're going to open and close some curly brackets again. Give it a bit of space, hit the enter key. And we can paste or just rewrite the code in there. However you like to do it, control C to copy, control V to paste. Great. As you can see, they're over there. Now the other thing was, oh, he's asking, how do I get my email address in the middle? Well, exact centering of it, it's a little difficult, but I'm going to do it the easy way by pushing it over there, by adding it a bit of padding to our telephone numbers. So I'm going to inspect my telephone number up here. There it is. And I'm going to push that email to the middle or roughly to the middle using a bit of padding on the right hand side of it. So let's just write it in here. Let's say padding dash right. And I'm going to use viewable width VW for this. That way, if it's on smaller screen sizes, it will still give it that same amount. So I'm going to say try 10 VW viewable width. It's pushed it across, but not quite a lot. And now we've got my little box open here. I can select that number and roll up and down with my mouse wheel and just put it to where I want it somewhere somewhere like that maybe not as far so 17 let's make it 15 16 we'll call it 16 so again we've got an ID info phone right here double click copy control C it's an ID so it needs to have a hashtag in front of it and let's open and close the brackets give it a bit of space copy our bit of code we wrote control C paste it in control V and there we have it now this has popped up but don't worry about that that's because we've pushed it over this will not be on the front end So that should do it. The other way of doing it would be to actually select this and give it padding left. It's six one half a dozen the other. Now with code, it's a good idea just to give things a heading. Um, that way, if you write a lot of code, certainly like I do, it makes it easy to find. And it's also a courtesy if anybody else comes in behind you and it needs to edit the site. So a comment is forward slash, star star forward slash. And you can write your comment or your heading in between the two stars. Anything that's in between the two stars there will not be read as code. So whatever makes sense to you. OK, now once we hit this publish button, this should all become permanent. Let's publish it. We can get rid of the inspector. And let's go to our page, refresh, and this should spread out with the social on the right, email in the middle. Now I see our social icons have not gone to the right. It's probably because there's another style in there saying float somewhere else, float left or float none. So we just got to add something to this 
here I'm just going to add the important after it which is exclamation I M P O R T A N T I don't like to use that but sometimes you have to as you can see it seems to be working fine here let's publish this and we'll go back and refresh and there we have it our social icons are now on the right hand side and like I say I'll put this code below the video you're welcome to use it and change it up however you wish or you can just do it like I did and use the inspector so I hope that's answered your question yes you can add a second telephone number yes you can put your email in the middle and yes you can float your social icons to the right hand side so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesign and tech tips.com thanks for watching have a great day.